Hey there. Happy Independence Day. You might hear some fireworks in the background outside uh, because people are already starting that. They started yesterday. I mean, they started a little bit before then, but I mean, they especially started last night. But uh, anyway, um, my last video that I made is unlisted now. Uh, You can still make comments on it if you can, you know, get to the link or whatever. Your comments are still there. But uh, I just don't think I should make drunk videos. I mean, not ones that talk about those kinds of subjects. It's not that I disagree with the video uh, that much. I mean, the, the worst thing in the video really was right at the beginning where I said, well, it, well, it seems like 99 or 98 percent of the people who are pushing an anti-woke message um, are against universal health care and a number of other things. Right. And it's just like, yeah, that it doesn't matter that I say seems like 99 or 98 percent. I should have still said some number that was a bit more accurate and not such hyperbole, you know. Yeah, somewhere between 85 and 90% would have been much more accurate numbers. But it's unlisted now, and the comments are still there. I appreciate the input that I was given about it. Oh yeah, and then there was also a a really bad editing error in it that I didn't catch until, like, after it was up for quite a while. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, both sides of the political spectrum, uh, like, I'm referring to the left and the right, I'm not talking about the top and the bottom, Both sides seem to have a very hard time understanding the negative outcomes of the things that they propose. It's as though they just turn off their brain in that particular area in order to virtue signal for their side. And I think most of the people who do this honestly don't understand that this is what they're actually doing. I mean, sure, there's people who understand this in others, and they know how to manipulate an audience. And so the people that are able to do that and know they're doing that... Uh, Those who have an online presence are probably going to be grifters. And again, let's be clear, there are grifters on both sides. And you know, sometimes it's hard to know whether someone is really grifting or not. Sometimes people just feel like there's something really, really important to say. Some people are self-absorbed, like I probably am. Sometimes people are narcissistic. I don't think those things really fit the word grifter, but maybe you disagree. Yeah, but back to the actual subject of the video. It's as though a lot of people have lost touch with cause and effect. It's the notion that if you're doing things for the right reasons, and the reasons are righteous enough, the outcome can't possibly be bad, even if the outcome is terrible. If you force them to look at the bad outcomes, you're a horrible person, apparently. Usually with labels like communist, fascist, you know, Marxist, or white supremacist. Those kinds of things start flying out of people's fingers. And even when so many people can see these negative outcomes, so many others still decide to push for the same things. It's just like, can can you not see these outcomes? Oh, that's that's just extremist talk. (laughs) Okay. From trickle-down economics on one side to legalizing theft and essentially decriminalizing hard drug usage on the sidewalks, maybe even next to an elementary school. From telling people what they can do in their bedrooms to telling people what they can do in their kitchens. From forced segregation to forced integration, with weird pushes back to segregation at the same time. From wanting to deregulate most industries, to wanting to regulate the way everyday people use everyday items. They're all bad ideas with terrible outcomes. Sure, uh, we haven't tried some of these things to their extremes, and we shouldn't give them that chance. Let's be smart about this. Thanks.